Hey developers, today we're gonna look at another Udemy course that I recommend. This one is called Build Responsive Real World Websites with HTML5 and CSS3. So this course is by Jonas Schmedeman and it's one of the higher ranked Udemy courses. If you search for CSS or HTML file, this is one of the ones that'll come up. You can see here it is 77 lectures, so quite a few lectures. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. And it's 12 hours long, and you can see already 63,000 students have gone through it. So it's definitely one of the def uh, more popular ones out there. And I went through a bunch of it. Of course, I can't show you the videos, but I do recommend it. By the way, I put a link below to this course so you can go ahead and pick it up. Udemy is having their $10.99 sale for the next seven days. So if you guys want to get a really cheap course, 12 hours of content, I would highly recommend pick it up and make sure you use the link I have in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the course content. So in this course, and by the way, there is two courses that he does. He does have an advanced CSS and SAS class uh, course, and then he has his build responsive real world websites. And so if you already know CSS and, or you know a little bit of it, you may want to just jump right into his advanced course. So I'll include a link there below on that course too, but it's it's a little bit more, it has a little bit more content for people that are a little bit farther along in CSS and you build more applications for it. So you have this bigger Notors project, he calls it. But for this one, we're gonna talk about this one today. So there is a ebook resource. He kind of gives you some resources before you start. And most of the beginning of the course is just like how to build HTML documents, like really, really basic stuff, images and attributes, basic HTML that you should know. The second part goes into CSS. So you're gonna learn about classes, IDs, relative versus absolute. And then he goes into web ba design basics. So like images, icons, layouts, things like that. And then section five is what I really like. It actually goes into a project. And I always think, Having projects in your tutorials makes things a lot easier. I think it kind of puts all the the things that you're learning into perspective and makes a little bit more sense. So he has building the headers, building the feature sections, and he kind of takes everything you learned in the first four sections and puts it all in here. So I would maybe even skip the first four sections and go right here. Unless you just never programmed before, you may want to just skip to section five. And then uh, definitely this is, uh, of course, he mentioned the responsive web design. You learn all about media queries, which is a small section. There's not a whole lot you need to learn. And then he goes into like jQuery, scrolling elements, some more optimizations, and then uh, the bonus lectures. So overall, I mean, this is a pretty good start for someone that doesn't have much HTML experience or HTML and CSS experience. You're definitely going to get the basics here. You're gonna get uh, how to use CSS3, media queries, responsive design, the stuff on HTML that you need to know, and uh, you're gonna build one project. So that's helpful. If you, like I said, if you've already know some HTML, CSS, I would highly recommend skip this one and go to his more advanced CSS course and you can actually learn about SAS too. And this one, uh, this course, and I, I might do a review on this later, but this is actually 28 hours. It's even longer and uh, you kind of learn more about it. So you'll learn complex CSS animations, advanced responsive design techniques. Uh, Flexbox is really, really popular. SAS, uh, CSS architecture, fundamental CSS concepts, and more. So I think this one might be a little bit, uh, a little bit more up people's alleys if you already have some HTML and CSS, um, CSS experience. You know, I, I have some design and some CSS. I am trying to get better at CSS, so this is definitely a course I'm going to be looking up more and more of as time goes on. And both of these courses were very helpful to me. Uh, if you guys have any questions, it's gonna be a quick video today. I just wanted to get this out. Um, like I said, make sure you click on that link below. I have all these Udemy links so you can check it out, these courses. And if you do end up buying a course, it does help me out. It does give me a couple bucks to make so I can keep doing tutorials and these fun things for you guys. Please let me know if you've taken either one of these, uh, uh, either one of these courses. Let me know how you like it. Thanks. Take care.